Today, I'll give you six reasons why you should become a programmer. Hey, Andreas, right? Hey, man, I heard you're a programmer. How would you like to join my startup? That sounds good, sure. Nice one. Hey, Andreas. Yeah? I've got this killer startup idea, man. We're gonna be rich. How would you like to be my co-founder? Wow, that would be awesome. Yeah. Awesome. My favorite guy. Hey, what's up? I am in desperate need of a programmer, man, to save my company. I will give you my car, my house, my dog, and 90% of my company's future earnings for the next 10 years. Definitely, man. I'd be willing to help. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Wow. I am so loved. Number one, everybody needs a programmer. We live in an era where every company, every startup, every business needs technology in order to function. The ones who don't need to step up their game in order to stay relevant. Different businesses or startups or companies, they always look for programmers who can take their ideas and make them reality. Just by performing a simple Google search online, you can see how many positions are available, how many jobs, the salaries they give, and you will probably be able to find something in your area or a country you want to move to, there will be someone offering you a job at a good salary. A lot of people have ideas or projects they want to make, but not many people have the skill to do it. Generally, it's a skill set that will always be relevant and in high demand in the future. It's not like you can go back in time and work with Paleolithic tools. Number two, you can learn programming easily and free. You don't need a university degree to learn programming. You can get one, but you don't have to. There are many structured courses or videos of how to do certain projects online. A good place to look is YouTube. There's a lot of free material online, free courses. Also websites like Coursera, you can audit their courses without paying anything. You won't get a certificate, but you still get the knowledge from the course. And there's also Udemy, but you usually have to pay for it. Though they have discounts very offers, so you should be able to get something for very cheap, like 10 pounds. I will also be making some on this channel, so make sure to hit subscribe so you see them when they come out. And there's questions and answers online for almost any problem you encounter while programming. The most popular one, of course, is Stack Overflow, which is basically every programmer's trusted companion throughout everything they're doing. Literally, 50% of a programmer's job is to look up whether code is not working on this website. Try learning psychology or mechanical engineering online? Not so easy. Number three, programming pays well and is a promising career path. Most programming jobs pay well. At least in London, I don't see any junior positions paying less than 30 grand a year. And usually you climb higher the more experience you get. While your career progresses, you can stay a developer, you can become a manager or a team lead. And generally, whichever direction you choose, you'll be fine. Number four, you develop creativity, critical thinking and problem solving skills. I always loved solving problems. It gives you a unique sense of satisfaction. So when I was a kid, I used to play with Legos, puzzles. I used to enjoy studying and solving different problems. The cool thing in programming is that you get to do all that cool stuff, but in a much cooler way. And you can see the results right in front of your eyes after you finish coding something. And if you're working on something useful, you can even help the community with your project. It will challenge you in many different ways to solve problems using unique and creative methods. And of course, it will help you learn to think logically and sequentially in order to solve a problem. Hmm. Hey man, uh, we're out of milk. Do you mind getting some? Yeah man, of course. I just walk to the door, open the door, close the door, go downstairs, walk to Tesco, go inside Tesco, go to the fridge, open the fridge, grab the milk, close the fridge, go and pay at the till for the milk, go outside Tesco, walk all the way back home, come upstairs, open the door, go in, close the door, come to the fridge, open the fridge, put the milk in the fridge, and then close the fridge. Just get the fucking milk. Number five, you can create whatever the hell you want. Knowing how to program, it will help you build whatever fucked up idea you have in your head. An application that calculates the month's expenses, you can build that. A video game starring you as the main character, you can build that. A psychology bot that gives you personalized therapy because deep down you're dead and crave human contact, you can build that. And number six, you can work from anywhere in the world. Programming gives you the flexibility to work from home, a hotel, a beach in Hawaii, without it being much different than in the office. A friend of mine is actually a software developer working in London, and he basically gets permission from his company to travel every month for like a couple of weeks. So he goes to different countries like Spain, France, Ukraine, you name it. He just goes there and works for two weeks remotely while he explores the cities and has fun in his spare time. Not 
all companies will let you do this, but if you find some that will, you are going to have a really nice time working. Especially now during the pandemic, we all saw how important this is. Thankfully, most of the people who worked in technology were not that affected by the situation. This is literally how I went to work every morning during the lockdown. But of course, being a programmer is not all good. Watch my other video in the description below to see why you should not become a programmer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave your opinions and suggestions in the comments below. Do you agree with these reasons? Do you disagree? Do you have any additional reasons? I want to know. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button below. Click on the bell to turn on notifications and be updated when I release a new video.